Springtime has officially sprung. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I pick the perfect chicken for my backyard flock. Make sure to stick around until the very end for a baby chick reveal. Let's get started. began gathering my chicken information. I wanted to learn about proper chicken care and how they varied depending on the breed. I asked the locals, I utilized online resources, and I took a trip to the library to browse for useful books. Now let's take a closer look at the locals. Here's where I found my very helpful and friendly locals, the farmer's market, farm supply stores, and neighbors with chickens. It's always a good idea to see what type of chicken already thrives in your region. And while you could just go scout out properties with chickens, an even better idea is to just ask. Linger around the chicken aisle at your local farm store, and soon you'll encounter a more than willing chicken lover. Take note of the breeds mentioned and pick their brain a little if they let you. Another great place to find good information is the farmer's market. I always ask my poultry farming friends for any tricks of the trade. And lastly, neighbors with chickens. You'd be surprised how many coops you might see when driving around. Observe the type of coop, structure, and take note of any predator prevention as well. Odds are you'll have to take similar precautions. Here's a look at my online resources. They included Chicken Keeper Facebook groups, YouTube videos, and homestead blog posts. There are tons of chicken keeping groups out there littered with useful information. YouTube has always been a big resource of mine regardless of the topic, and most homestead censored blogs like Abundance Plus can be really useful when making big decisions like picking the right breed for you. Next up on my list of resources is the library. Come along with me while I search the shelves for some useful finds. The library is a great place to find all kinds of relevant books for your research. I feel like it's a very underutilized resource nowadays. My local library has never let me down, and I always leave with a big pile of books. It's a great way to save money, too. While browsing for books, I encountered the Ash County Seed Library. I was very excited to discover such a cool feature. I'll definitely be coming back for some seeds in the future. Comment below if your local library has one too. Now it's time to head home and take a look at my book haul. Now that we've gone over all the resources, let's see what I've learned and some things to consider before deciding on what breed. Egg production. How many eggs needed determines how many hens, and the number varies depending on the breed. Hardiness. How tolerant they are to cold or heat. Egg, meat, dual purpose. This determines whether your birds will be only for eggs, meat, or both. Size determines coop and housing type. Temperament, how easy they are to handle. Broodiness, great for hatching your own eggs but can lead to issues if not addressed properly. Aesthetic, 
whether you want a fancy flock with certain characteristics or not. Egg color and size, whether you want colored eggs or don't have a preference at all. Costs, committing to keeping chickens is a pricey endeavor. Make sure to come up with a plan and tally all the costs before picking up your chicks. Responsibilities, keeping chickens is a lot of work. Cleaning, feeding, checking in on them day and night. Make sure this isn't something you'll tire of. Coop, run, or chicken tractor. Determine what type of chicken system to use, whether it's a traditional coop, a compost run, or a tractor. Expectations. Just know not everything goes as planned. Try to prepare best you can, but don't beat yourself up over the little things. So with all those considerations, which chick did I pick? English Black Model Orpingtons, sourced from a local hatchery, NPIP certified, meaning National Poultry Improvement Plan, and Avian Influenza Clean. Now it's time to go pick up my chicks. Here they are, 14 baby English black mottled Orpingtons. I decided on Orpingtons for a number of reasons. Orpingtons are known for their excellent egg laying, which can range from around 200 to 280 eggs per year. Orpingtons produce large, light brown eggs. They are also considered a great dual purpose bird, due to their large size, which ranges from seven up to nine pounds when fully grown. Orpingtons are also known for their docile temperament, which is a huge plus. They are also cold hardy due to their big puffy feathers, which was a concern for me because winters here can be pretty brutal. Orpingtons can be considered more broody than some breeds. There are plenty of pros and cons to chick broodiness, but since I am going to try hatching some of my own baby chicks next spring, motherly hens are seen as a bonus to me. As for their aesthetic, it was hard to pass up these beauties after I saw the unique black and white modeled patterns. I'm very excited to share my chicken keeping journey with you all. Comment below what the type of chicken you have or want. Here's a look at the two week old babies.
Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe for more.